everyone, it's Nicole, the math lady, and today's topic is perimeter. Okay, I think by now you probably have heard a little bit about perimeter. You might know that perimeter measures the length around the outside of something. So I could say, if I wanted to measure the perimeter of the room that I was standing in, I would get my、uh, measuring tape out. And I'd measure this side, and that side, and this side, and this. Side. Okay, you get the idea. But we can do the perimeter of shapes as well. And all we have to do is add up the total of the sides, put a label on it, and that's the perimeter. So, for example, we have a triangle here. The perimeter simply would be, let's say this was inches. I forgot to write my label. There we go. Three plus four. Plus five, so I'm adding up each of the sides.、Uh, three and four is seven. Seven plus five is twelve. Twelve, and it's not perimeter until you put a label on it. Inches. There you go. That's a triangle. What if they give you a rectangle, but they don't tell you what everything is? Well, they told us here that the length is six and the width is four. What? Do, how do we find the other sides? Well, it's a rectangle, right? It means that this side is equal to that side, which is a four, and this side is equal to that side, which is a six. So now we are prepared to add them all up. Four plus four is eight. Six plus six is twelve. Eight plus twelve is twenty. And look, I forgot to write my label again.、So、I'm gonna give it millimeters this time. Millimeters. So our label has to always be in our answer for a perimeter. Twenty millimeters is our answer. Now again, let me give you something that's slightly more difficult, where they don't necessarily give you every side. Take a look at this. So we have a shape here, and they've given us some of the sides. See, I forgot to put my labels in again. So let's make them inches. You know me. Okay. They gave us some of the sides, but not all of the sides. So we're going to have to use our smarts, which I know you've got tons of, to figure out which sides are missing or the lengths of the sides that are missing. All right. Well, we've got to figure out this one, and we've got to figure out this one. Well, first of all, we know this entire side is twelve, which means if this piece of it is four, since this really can form a rectangle, I'm going to do, 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 do that straight. We know that this would naturally expand out to a rectangle. If this whole side is twelve and this side is four, this piece here must be eight to make the total of twelve. Okay. Well, if this is a rectangle. If this is eight, we know that the piece on the bottom must also be eight inches. Look at that. We can do the same thing with this side. We need to find this side. We know the whole side is ten, and we know that this piece, which is the same as this piece here, is three. So this whole side is ten. This whole side is ten. This must be seven inches. I don't want to confuse you. Let's get rid of that. This side must be seven inches. Seven and three is ten. So if this side is seven, this side must also be seven. Now I have something for every side. I can go ahead and add them up. Let's do it. So we've got twelve on the bottom, ten on the side, four up the top, seven right here, eight, three. Is that it? Okay. Now I have to add. Can some of y'all just do this for me? <laughs> All right. Here we go. So I'm doing it like this: twelve, ten, four, seven, eight, and three. Looking for groups of ten. Eight and two is ten. Seven and three is ten. That's twenty-four. And two, four. So I'm always looking for groups of ten. So my answer for perimeter is forty-four inches. One last example. We could go in the opposite direction. What if they gave us the perimeter, then they ask us to go ahead and find what the sides were? Well, we can only do this when we have equal sides. Here's what I mean. So they told us that this square, the perimeter is 120 centimeters. Well, we know that means this plus this plus this plus this. We also know when it's a square, it means that these sides are equal. So that's a simple division problem. That's 120 divided by four, and we know that that gives us 30 centimeters. That means each side is 
We can do it with non-squares. How about a, uh, a pentagon, right? It has five sides, five equal sides. That's the key. And they told us it's 175 inches. Now again, it's a division problem, so we can do it like this and just do our math. Five times three is 15, two is left over. Put the two up here, five and a 25 is five. So that means that each side is 35 inches. So you can do it in either direction. You can find perimeter when you have the sides or missing sides, or you can find the sides when they give you the perimeter for um, shapes that have equal sides. That's it. You have been schooled or reminded about perimeter. Go ahead and do some practice problems and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.